Good afternoon to you and happy Friday. We are just about to our holiday weekend, but before we get there, we need to know what is happening in the tropics and if we will have any impacts here. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Thanks for joining me here. Of course, we do this every afternoon. We are officially in hurricane season and we need to keep track of what is cooking out there so we'll know what to expect here. And if you have travels elsewhere, if you will run into any problems there. So let's go ahead and get started with a view, a wide view of what's happening in the Atlantic. We've got some very warm water out there well into the 80s. And we also have a couple of areas of disturbed weather. We've got some showers and storms brewing in the central Atlantic, another area off into the western portions of the Atlantic West Central Atlantic. But at this point, the National Hurricane Center is not monitoring any of these disturbances for tropical activity, at least not now. But of course, we'll watch it over the weekend, see if it starts to develop and become a little bit more favorable for a potential depression or storm. But for now, we're not really seeing any major action that has a high shot for development as we check out much of the Atlantic at least the central and eastern and west central Atlantic. As we move into the southwestern Atlantic, though, we do have a system here, but it's only going to have a 10% chance to develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next two to seven days. So this is a very weak system. It's getting even closer to Bermuda now. It should pass very close to Bermuda over the next day or so. And the environment is not really going to be ideal or favorable for development for this system. So that's why the National Hurricane Center only giving it a 10% shot for development. But of course, we will watch it. But right now, it's just a broad area of low pressure, very organized and as it shifts to the north it's going to still be in an environment that's not really going to give it much of a shot to survive however it still has a 10% chance so I did at least want to let you know what was going on let's hop over to the eastern Pacific and this is where we have all the action this is a look at not one but two hurricanes churning over into the eastern Pacific we've got Hurricane Beatrice and also Hurricane Adrian Hurricane Beatrice is the one that is more concerning at this point because it is basically riding right along the southwestern Mexican coast that means hurricane conditions are going to be felt for portions of the western and southwestern Mexican coast. And that's why we do have some hurricane warnings in place, also tropical storm warnings in place as well. So Beatrice will continue sliding off to the northwest. We've also got Hurricane Adrian out there, but Adrian farther away from Mexico. So that is good news for Adrian. But here's a look at the current coordinates for Hurricane Beatrice. Currently, maximum sustained winds around 85 miles per hour. Movement to the northwest at 13 miles per hour. And that pressure down to 992 millibars. This is the latest 4 p.m. advisory. You can see Mexico City here, Acapulco. So Beatrice is to the north and west of Acapulco. And it's just basically going to continue on that northwesterly track. Still maintaining Category 1 hurricane status by Sunday afternoon. So Saturday, Sunday, it is still a hurricane hurricane most likely and then as we get into Sunday evening it will likely start to weaken into a tropical storm or a tropical depression by Monday it should be a weaker system as it moves over towards Cabo San Lucas as far as Adrian is concerned it is an even stronger hurricane currently a category two hurricane out in the eastern Pacific but notice it is a few hundred miles away from Mexico and it is pushing to the northwest at seven miles per hour. So that means it is not going to be impacting Mexico or the US. It's moving away. Hopefully it won't impact anyone and it will just weaken out over the open water. So currently no hurricane watches or warnings out for Adrian, but it is a strong category two hurricane with 105 mile per hour winds and pressure all the way down to 970 millibars. Of course, usually when you have the pressure getting lower that corresponds to a stronger tropical cyclone and usually higher wind speeds. So this one should maintain hurricane strength through Sunday. And then as we go into early next week, we are going to have that one weakening pretty rapidly. So overall, it does appear that we will have the potential 
four, maybe some problems from Beatrice, but it looks like Adrian should stay away from Mexico and the US. As far as our sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic, they are toasty. It's like bath water out there and we will continue with that chance for more development because we still have unusually high and unusually warm waters out across the Atlantic and still very warm waters for the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico as well. So typically this time of the year, we don't have a lot of action out there. We usually have a lot more storms and hurricanes in August and September, but it's been a fairly busy start to the season. We've already had three named storms, Arlene, Brett, and Cindy. So the next name on the list would be Don. And we've got all of these additional names that we could potentially go through as we make our way through this hurricane season, which of course lasts all the way through the end of November. We're still at the beginning. We're still basically in the first month, about to enter into month two as we go into July for tomorrow. But that's still typically a time frame where we don't have a lot of action. We're still usually just dealing with a low shot for development for the first couple of months. But as we get into August and September, that is when we really see that spike. Usually the actual peak of hurricane season right around September 10th. So of course we're gonna be monitoring things closely and keeping a close watch on the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean as well. They are quiet right now, but we know that could change in an instant. So make sure that you are going over and reviewing your hurricane plan with your family. Make sure you have a plan of action, know exactly what to do if a tropical storm or hurricane were to head our way. You need to review that insurance, make sure you have your hurricane kit prepared, and just make sure you have your evacuation routes in order. You know where to go if you have to evacuate. Another great thing to do, download our Fox 26 weather app. That will give you everything you need to know with our weather locally and also an update on whatever is happening out there in the tropics. Of course, now you can get updates on Beatrice, Adrian out in the Eastern Pacific and that other little disturbance in the Southwestern Atlantic. That's all I have for you this afternoon. Of course, you'll get additional updates over the weekend, usually around or a little after 4 p.m. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.